Right, hello guys, um, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another football video. Um, not one that I'm happy to make, but one I'm ex you'll probably expect me to make. So, here's my opinions on all of the saga between Tuca, the new American owner at Chelsea, and Grand Potter being the new Chelsea manager. A lot to get through, so let's get straight down to this video. So, give us a little big fat thumbs up, you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, just literally over 24 hours ago, we got news that Thomas Tuca has been sacked by Chelsea. Surprise to me, and most probably a surprise to the most of the footballing world. You know, he did do a pretty good job, if you really think about it. Winning Champions League, FA Cup, League Cup, the Club World Cup, which is one of the hardest trophies to get. You have to actually win the European title to actually get to that competition and it's a one game to half and Chelsea did that. It really did baffle me. Um, if I'm being really honest, uh, you can catch the vlog on my channel now I went to uh, watch Chelsea West Ham and they didn't look too bad. They just couldn't put the ball in the net but, you know, it does happen in football and as I said, I'm a bit surprised about this. So, anyway, the... All the media and all the bookies and all the other bits and bobs voted Grand Potter to become the new uh, Chelsea manager. And it's just been confirmed by both clubs, by Brighton and by Chelsea. And a lot of Chelsea fans ain't happy with it either. So if you are a Chelsea fan, please put it down in the comments below how you're feeling about this. But I'm just going to go past a short statement before this is by the club on the club's website as you can now see. Grand Potter, I think that's the win against Leicester, which just happened there. Um, I'm just going to read you a short statement because he has to more than one uh, player to, uh, more than one coaching staff to Stamford Bridge. I'll get down to my opinion on how I think he'll do in just a minute. So anyway, let's read this first. You've got head coach Graham Potter has left the club, decided to try on Chelsea. Also, Billy Ray, I think that's his name. Um, sorry if I mispronounced any of these names during this bit. Has also gone, which I was expecting. First, uh, first team coach, Bodge Hamburg. As I said, I probably mispronounced that. Apologies if I... That I was okay with. Now, it gets down to... You're taking a biscuit a little bit. Bruno has also gone. Bruno is a club legend um, and always will be in my heart. Um, and also goalkeeper coach Ben Robson and assistant head of recruitment. Now, as I said, especially with Bruno and Ben Robson, the club actually hired them as uh, the coach and the goalkeeper coach for, I believe it's when um, Grass Poet came in. To actually Grand Potter to take them as well, as I said, it does take the biscuit just a little bit um, with me. Now people can't say to me, money don't talk, because obviously it does. Um, but I am really, i am got to take this up one or two ways. Uh, now if you watch my Cooker Eye video, you will know I took that. Basically he took the money and ran. I can either look at it that way, or I can either go looking at it like, Okay, it's a good opportunity for Grand Potter to take. And, um, you know, it's effectively a top four club. I can't really say they are in the top four because they're not. But uh, he's basically left the top, current top four club for a uh, club in sixth, I believe they are. But you really have got to... I really have got to look at this both ways. Um, I'm going to speak on the Chelsea side, I think just ever so slightly um yeah i really um it's gonna need time i can't see the new chelsea owners giving them time chelsea have got champions league medals galore fa cup medals efl cup you know all these medals the likes of mason mount reese james tiago silva all these international caps as well. I really can't see Grand Potter going into Stamford Bridge with the same thing that he had with Brighton. With Brighton, it's a slightly different um, 
I don't think we've got a lot of international caps in the squad. Um, especially not senior level anyway. But now you're, you're taking off a different job altogether. So it's going to be a really interesting one for Chelsea fans to um, see how he does. As I said, I don't really see him getting the time. I don't really see him lasting very long, if I'm going to be honest. I believe he could have done it, but I think he needed a bit more time at Brighton to actually see what happens, especially this season. You know, after having a really good start. I thought, you know, time would tell was it the right decision or not. As I really am struggling to get my head around will he survive. I can't see him surviving. Now, I, who was I listening? I think I was listening to talk sport. can't remember who the person was. Um, but it's going like, Chelsea managers, you've gone for the likes of Someone who's been in charge of Juventus, someone's been in charge of PSG, someone's been in charge of Real Madrid. Grand Potter has done none of them clubs. Um, as far as I know, has got no um, European experience. Obviously, I got start the Champions League last week. He's got a Champions League game coming up very soon as well. It's going to be a very interesting time for Potter. And the coaches staff that he's sticking with him. Um, as a Brighton fan, I'm interested to see where our next steps are and who our new manager is going to be. Um, who would I like to see? I'm going to say it. A lot of people won't, you know, probably agree, but someone like Pochettino, someone with uh, European experience, you know. So I think now's the time we move up as well um, and try not let this appointment by Chelsea affect us fans in any way shape or form um but yeah there's my thoughts there's my opinions um as i said if you're a chelsea fan if you're a brighton fan put it down in the comments below how you're feeling about this appointment if you're a chelsea fan do you believe you called the right man in or do you believe they should maybe gone for someone like potch or trying to think who else is uh, available Zinedine so sedan he was up there as well for the call put it down in all in the comments below but um yeah i'm gonna bring this video to an end so guys anyway you know what to do a big fun fun hope you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching ciao for now